Let us pray. O Lord, we worship you, the holy, pure, and righteous God, who is enthroned in heaven. Scripture speaks of you in many places in language which almost scares us, but it describes the majesty and splendor of your mighty presence. The images are awesome, and we do well to humble ourselves when we think of who we are dealing with. We have sinned against you since last Sunday in so many ways, but we thank you for the love that you have for us and the fact that you asked your own son, Jesus, to come and restore the relationship with you. This morning, we celebrate what Jesus did. We will take bread, and as we eat it, we will remember that his body was broken for us by being hung on a cross. There he died, the just for the unjust. You made him sin who had no sin of his own, so that we may become righteous in him. What a price he paid to set up the great salvation that is open to all. It was costly for you too, O God, because you could not bear to look on him as he hung on that cross. We will take wine and drink it, thinking of the precious blood of Jesus. That blood symbolizes life. And we thank you for the fact that you accept that sacrifice as being the penalty for our sins. We don't deserve it, but you want us to have it. So let us come away from this morning's service, wanting to do whatever you want. May our chief desire be to please you by whatever means. And so may we look to the cross daily. When we survey it, May we indeed pour contempt on our pride. Whenever you ask us to do something, may we think of that love, so amazing, so divine, and gladly give ourselves to your service. Change our attitudes as necessary, Lord. We look forward to the preaching of your word. We have delighted in this for many years, and we rejoice when we see how you have changed us through it, and also other people. Sometimes your word can cause hurt, but we confess that we are glad that this can be so. You love us enough to challenge us and rebuke us, but you're also so gentle with us in our weakness. The prophet Isaiah said of Jesus, A bruised reed he will not break, and a smouldering wick he will not snuff out. You give us the Holy Spirit and his power so that we can serve you by living out the lessons from your word. But before then, we will sing other songs of praise to you. We will worship you and exalt you, although we would dearly love to do so together. And we ask that you will guide us as to how and when we may get together to do that. We miss seeing each other, and that is a healthy attitude. It shows that we love each other. And we love you, who commanded us to love one another, as you love us. So, Lord, accept our adoration and worship. Continue with us as we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us, and deliver us from evil. For yours are the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. And now, James Innes has something to tell our young friends. (laughs) 